All right, welcome back to Morning Live. Interesting conversation right here with Doc and Mahesh Gupta, who is with me in studio. And uh, as I mentioned earlier before we took a break, when you concentrate so much on prenatal, antenatal, and of course when the child is born from at least zero to 12 years, they fall under something called, uh, that is uh, interesting that, uh, uh, it's, it's a period actually, uh, they fall under this uh, pre prenatal and antenatal, but when you talk about even them being take, taken care of, you know, that's the sensitive period. The immune system, not all that well, but that's where the misconception of so many things come in. You find that you'll spend so much money trying to make your uh, baby or your kid or your youngster actually better. But in studio, Dr. Mahesh Gupta is me, a pediatrician who will be telling us more about other pediatrics, misconception about what is happening. Now, some medical terms like neonates, wow, you know about them. He'll be talking to us about all these things because now we need to know them as uh, maybe potential parents, as future parents. I believe there's some sense in this. Now, pediatrics, doctor, yeah. first of yeah. all, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh, all right. right. Yeah, pediatrics. When we focus on pediatrics, maybe you can just tell us um, a brief definition of pediatrics because now uh, you are a pediatrician, but yeah. still you need to know what you do as your pediatrician now. Uh, pediatrics is basically starts from newborn period and after newborn period it generally uh, ends up to the 18, 18 years of age till okay. adolescence it is called as pediatrics okay. whole age group. Okay. Uh, generally divided into age groups like it starts from neonate from birth to 28 days of life it is okay. called as neonate mm -hmm. from 28 days to up to one year it is called as infant uh -huh. from one year to uh, Three, four, three years it is called as toddler, uh -huh. from three year to 12 year it is called as children, child okay. Okay. and from 12 year to 18 year it is called as adolescents. Okay. So okay. problems mm -hmm. are different from different age groups. From neonates? From neonates to, to adolescents. To toddler, to children, to adolescents, these are different problems. Different problems okay. and management okay. of these problems are also different. Okay. The okay. approach to these problems uh -huh. are also different. Mm -hmm. Now, um, neonates, you know, this is a period where there's so much happening because now um, we have so many complications. Of course, prenatal, anti antenatal, uh, same thing. But now um, when it comes to childbirth, yeah. now neonate, but sometimes we have premature birth. But right. First of all, maybe you can expound to us what a neonate is. Uh, premature, uh, generally neonates are divided into three categories mm -hmm. depending on the gestation at which they are delivered. Okay. Uh, if they delivered between uh, before uh, 37 weeks, it okay. is called as premature birth. If it is, uh, if baby is delivered between 37 to 40 weeks, it is called a uh, term gestation. Okay. And after 40 weeks, it is ca called as post term gestation. Okay. So before 37 weeks, if delivery happens, the baby is called as premature babies. Okay. There is also divisation in uh, premature babies also. If delivered uh, between, if child's, it, mm -hmm. it, it depends on to, uh, on to the child weight also. Okay. The normal birth weight of term babies are more than 2.5 kg. Okay. If child birth weight is between 1.5 mm -hmm. to 2.5 kg, it mm -hmm. is called as low birth weight. Mm -hmm. If birth weight is between 1.5 to 1 kg, okay. it is called as very low birth weight babies. Okay. But if birth weight is less than 1 kg, it is called extremely low birth weight okay. babies. Okay. All right. And the extremely low birth babies and very low birth babies mm -hmm. are more serious concern to society and okay. hospitals and okay. to parents also mm -hmm. because they have more complications compared to low birth weight and term babies. So is that where incubation comes in? Pardon? Is, is there where maybe incubation comes in? in yeah. Incubation comes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is a need of incubation is uh, less than thir 37 weeks. It depends okay. on the child condition also. Mm -hmm. But before 32 weeks, it's necessary to mm -hmm. do incubation. Okay. Now the complications, you know, um, sometimes we have the situations where early, early birth, whereby right. maybe not nine months, maybe at seven months. And now we have these complications as a child grows up. Eh? You'll find a parent is um, just a one-way traffic, always in the hospital, always in the hospital. What are some of the complications? The complications are because, uh, see, the immature, one is the development in utero. Okay. While baby develops in utero till 37 weeks and after that uh, the baby de uh, baby delivers. But if, if baby delivers before 37 weeks, there are certain organs which are immature uh -huh. like lungs, heart, brain. Brain especially, brain is immature. Yeah. So 
gut is immature intestinal tract is immature uh, inter intestinal tract does not handle milk ample amount of milk yeah, before yeah. 37 week yeah. so these are the complications yeah. especially organ related like yeah. brain intestine lungs because once our stance is called as surfactant uh -huh. which is produced after the 32 weeks or grossly after the 8 months of gestation okay. if baby delivers before 8 months uh -huh. there is deficiency of this substance in the lungs uh -huh. and lung does not expand at all okay. after delivery okay. so we have to give this substance uh -huh. externally uh -huh. to baby uh -huh. so that baby can survive okay I know this will now, uh, preparation to, of course, uh, so delivery starts with the prenatal, antenatal, as I mentioned earlier, but how can this be happening? Because, of course, we see um, uh, expectant uh, ladies, uh, of course, um, taking some uh, drugs also during this period, um, some nutrients, some iron. And uh, is it just a recipe to make sure all goes well? Or maybe, is it, I, I understand there's so much demands. The baby has the demands. The, the mother also has the demands. Now maybe um, the drugs they take, uh, do you think it helps? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they help mm -hmm. because uh, uh, generally we think that child nutrition starts from birth onwards, yeah. but it is false. Yeah, child nutrition yeah. starts just after conception of the mm -hmm. pregnancy mm -hmm. or before that. Yeah. If, even before that, mm -hmm. even mother is malnourished, mother is deficient in nutrition, definitely child will be malnourished in later life. Yeah, yeah. And if mother is malnourished, they can give rise to preterm deliveries also. Yeah, sure. So nutrition starts just before the conception mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there are certain elements mm -hmm. like calcium, iron, and protein. There is a 1.5 times bigger higher needs in pregnant ladies than yeah. normal ladies. Yeah, sure. So no, uh, pregnant ladies need more nutrition compared to normal yeah, ladies. Normal ladies. Nutri status yeah. would be appropriate for the mother. Yeah, sure. Now this this aspect of the kangaroo mother care. Yeah. That's a common word being used in, uh, of course, uh, after after birth. But there's still that um, kangaroo. You know, you know what kangaroo does. Yeah. It keeps uh, the baby in some porch. Eh? Yes, um, this is yes. very strange that it's now becoming in the medical term. Kangaroo mother care basically comes from the kangaroo itself yeah. as, as you are saying. Mm -hmm. What kangaroo does, kangaroo put her baby in the lap of her and there yeah. is a skin to skin contact. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The major risk for neonates is hypothermia. Uh -huh. See, So kangaroo protect mm -hmm. the ba her baby from mm. hypothermia. Hypothermia, hypo and low temperature? Yeah, low temperature. Low temperature. Okay. Uh, second, mm -hmm. there is emotional bonding between the baby and mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. mother also. Okay. So we promote kangaroo mother care before 37 weeks of delivery. Okay. When baby are hemodynamically stable, vitally stable, okay. there is no need of oxygen for babies. And for optimal growth of the babies and optimal attachment to the mother and to prevent the hypothermia, prevent yeah. for low temperature, mm -hmm. we promote the mm -hmm. uh, kangaroo mother care. Okay. okay. Now maybe, maybe tell us the signs of a premature birth. Uh, signs of premature birth in terms of uh, uh, sometimes there is leaking in the mother, sometimes mother is suffering from some diseases, okay. medical diseases mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like renal diseases, okay. uh, some cyanotic heart diseases. Mm -hmm. Right, some infections if there mm. is a uh, antenatal period. Yeah, these uh, also lead to premature premature deliveries. Okay, mother, mother uh, if there is mother suffering from some hypertension, mm -hmm. some these diseases, the optimal growth mm -hmm. of the baby does not mm -hmm. occur in in utero, mm -hmm. and there is chances of premature birth. Okay, now uh, long term complications because now. As much as you're talking about um, the situation where, of course, um, uh, early birth, but at some point, the long-term complications to both the mother and the kid. No, sure. The, the long-term complications are very uh, large because uh, the baby delivers outside before 37 weeks. Mm -hmm. So certain organs are immature. Okay. Later on, it depends on the hospital care and mm -hmm. immediate postnatal care. Okay. If, uh, the optimal care does not give in. There are certain complications like related to brain, child may be mentally retarded, uh -huh. child may be spastic diplasia, uh -huh. Uh -huh. he or she cannot walk uh -huh. or uh -huh. talk properly, uh -huh. right? Yeah. There is a reduced intelligence later on. In life. They, there yeah. may be some uh, respiratory complications like uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Okay. Generally, we, we keep babies on okay. assisted ventilation like okay. ventilator and CPAP. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, lungs got injured mm -hmm. during this because we are giving mm -hmm. positive pressure. Mm -hmm. Some complications like intestinal, there may be malabsorption. 
sometimes there is infection occurs during the neonatal period in intestine. Mm -hmm. So, there is some deficiency of nutrients later mm -hmm. on. There may be more incidence of anemia in these children. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There is more incidence of fractures in these children. Osteopenia okay. is more in these uh, these children. Uh -huh. We cannot compare these children from normal children okay. because there is lack in nutrition and some other. From for maternal side, there is an increased incidence of uh, neglect, child abuse in okay. these in these okay. uh, children. Okay. There are certain studies showing that there is increased divorce, uh, there is increased divorce rate after premature deliveries also okay. Okay. because mother has to take care. Of the sure. Baby. Now you've mentioned so much incidences and so much complications, but you have those alarming signals that as a parent you need to run quickly, run quickly for help. Uh, if there is anticipated premature delivery, yeah. so we have to uh, go to that hospital or health facility where there is facility available for that preterm deliveries. Okay. So, see the first minute after the delivery is golden period. It is termed in our uh, language as golden period, first minute. If the appropriate care can be given to these babies during the first minute, mm -hmm. the long term complications are mm -hmm. decreased. Okay. So, the delivery is anticipated in a health facility where the we can care okay. of these babies. Okay. Second, if expected uh, preterm delivery is expected, then we have to check up regularly for okay. antenatal visits okay. so that uh, we can give some other medications to mother. The development and uh, of the baby may be appropriate. Like we will give generally a steroid to mother. Mm -hmm. After that, lung maturity is better, brain maturity is better, and mm -hmm. intestinal maturity is beca okay. better. Mm -hmm. So, later outcome is much better after mm -hmm. receiving these mm -hmm. medications. Mm -hmm. So, regular antenatal checkup should, should be done. Nutrition of the mother should be done appropriately, should okay. be monitored appropriately. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, immune system. Because so many people are saying that um, the neonatal, of course, uh, there's, a, there's a process after neonatal, uh, neonatal that is, um, we find a situation whereby there's a progress. Now it goes to now newborn, of course newborn, new, neonate, and now to a child. Um, the immune system sometimes is so inconsistent. Why is this mo 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 in most cases actually? Immune system uh, depends on the nutrition also, mother's mm -hmm. nutrition. Sometimes child does not get breast milk due to prematurity yeah. because breast yeah. milk does not produce yeah. in premature uh, mm -hmm. babies, sometimes yeah. Uh, yeah. premature mothers. So, it depends on breast milk uh, gestation, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, generally in preterm babies, immaturity is low compared to mm -hmm. normal babies. Okay. Okay. Now, um, even in a situation where by breastfeeding is, uh, is, is actually a very vital point of, of course, the child's growth. Eh? There's some mothers who lose milk very early in the stages. And uh, what sort of the solution to this? The solution of, uh, of it, this is uh, reduce the stress because every mother in the world has breast milk sufficient to feed his or her, ba uh, his okay. or her baby. Yeah. So, breast milk does not decrease, but due to some social factors, some nutritional factors, breast milk d decreases. Okay. So, stress is one of the uh, most important factor second yeah. second is the insufficiency of nu nutrition is an important uh -huh. important factor okay. and third if some mothers are working they start working see breast milk is produced after the suckling or suckling stimulation of the baby okay. if she does not give feed to baby between 8 to 6 in the evening mm -hmm. the breast milk production is decreased okay. Okay. so uh, generally we advise them to express milk in the office also mm -hmm so that there is a continuous stimulation that breast milk can produce uh, regularly. Okay. okay, and I see technology has done it even you have uh, uh, the, the milk box whereby uh, you can just, uh, of course, uh, use a breast milk, you store it somewhere. Is, is this still advisable? Because yeah, I it's, 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 it's advisable. It's better, it's okay. better okay. Uh, because sometimes for premature babies, mother is not able to give milk, mm -hmm. but if we want a healthier baby, we need breast milk. Yeah. So we can take breast milk from mm -hmm. breast bank. It's okay. a good initiative. Okay. Okay. It's a very good initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I have triplet in my uh, NICU. Okay. The weight is around 1.1, 1.2 kg. Okay. The mother is not able to give milk. Uh, we arrange milk from breast uh, breast bank, uh, milk okay. milk bank. Okay, so it's better for babies. Interesting. We'll be talking about uh, that after after the break because now that means um, 
uh, your baby is actually uh, taking milk from another mother. So will you accept that actually? And also, we'll be talking about now neonatal child and also touch base on adolescence. A very important actually transition to adulthood, which is sometimes a very difficult transition. All the coming to you after a short break. Welcome back to Morning Life. Dr. Mahesh Gupta is with me in studio and uh, trust me, the next conversation will kind of be weird also. And as a young lady who's a woman out there, will you accept this? That your baby or your baby is breastfeed from another woman's milk. Now, this is something that is happening in Europe, happening in India and has started happening in Africa. But I've just sampled a question right here in the studio. I've asked two young ladies if they can accept their young kid to actually breastfeed from another woman. They said, big no. Now, doc. Now look at that feedback already. It's kind of now just no, no, no. Like I cannot allow my kid to breastfeed from another woman's um, milk. Europe, it's happening. Other parts of the world is happening actually. Now, why is it so difficult for Africa to embrace this? Maybe uh, lack. Uh, maybe there are some misconceptions. Maybe uh, just lack of awareness. Maybe lack of the uh, complications which is arising due to consum uh, consumption of top feed or formula feed instead of breast milk. Okay. Uh, there are certain complications which are more in formula feed compared to breast milk. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, breast milk of every mother is same. Okay. 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 It, it is the same. Only the mother is different. Okay. Right? So we can use breast milk after some testing of the mother or breast milk we can use. It is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely safe. Safe, safe same thing, safe, no same difference. Thing, no, no difference. <laughs> so. Maybe mother have some misconception that if breast milk of other mother is given to my child, my baby does not, uh, what is... Uh, develop well? Develop, no, no yeah. develop. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, not attached to me in ah, future life, okay, maybe. Okay, okay. But it's a false conception. It's a conception. We are giving Africa just milk. <laughs> Baby does <laughs> not differentiate yeah. the milk. Uh, may, uh, if if the mother is other milk is given uh, breast milk directly, mm -hmm. it is different thing. Okay. But if she express the milk and give to the baby, mm -hmm. it's a different. So we can express the milk from the other mother and give to the other baby. Okay. It's totally safe. So we need to um, kill the conceptions of about attachment. You talking yeah. about attachment. Attachment. Now we look at nutrition. That's what you're trying to say. But look at the tests also. Uh, maybe before the tests, is it happening in Africa so far? Yeah. Okay. In Kenya? Yeah. In it's Kenya. happening. It's happening. Okay. So um, do we like um, have to show the tests to uh, the receiving parents or maybe like the tests you've done on the milk that your baby is about to kind of consume or mm -hmm. how do you do it? No, we will not do a test on milk. Mm -hmm. We will d uh, do test of the mother. Of the mother. If she's suffering from any chronic disease or okay. some infectious disease. Okay. Because some infections transferred through breast yeah. milk also. Yeah, sure. The uh, although the possibility of transferring the infection is very low by very breast low. milk, okay. but there is a possibility. Okay. So we cannot, uh, uh, we don't want to transfer these infections to unnecessary to baby. Mm -hmm. So we generally we do testing HIV like hepatitis okay. B, some hepatitis C and yeah. HIV testing. Okay. These are three uh, routinely done testings mm -hmm. on the mother. If mother is healthy, then mm -hmm. we can give breast milk to safely to these okay. the children. Amazing, amazing. I think we should embrace that because at the end of the day, the bigger picture is the nutritious value, is it? Right, right. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about adolescents because now they fall under pediatrics. This is a period where, uh, trust me, uh, there's so much confusion in a young person's life, whereby, of course, medication, changes in your body, um, breaking of the voice, uh, for the ladies, of course, uh, the growing of breasts, and of course, other things also. Um, uh, so many things actually come into play. And also, it needs some medical attention. Now, how do you try and put this all together? Because from neonatal, from neonate to the child, to the infant, all those things, now to the adolescent, how do you manage this? Uh, adolescent period is most stressful for a child yeah. because he or she is transferring from childhood to adulthood. It sure. is in between time between childhood and adulthood. So we have to 
there are certain factors which are more in adolescent like stress because their body structure is being changed at yeah. that that time they are becoming from child to adulthood right i think in literature also it said that mother is a best friend of the child so mother should take care of this mother should we have like a friend in this time right. because certain changes like menstruation is started at that time if we will not educate the child about menstruation if we will not educate the child about the changes in her body which yeah. is going to on in this yeah. period mm -hmm. he or she may be stressed mm -hmm. right yeah. Yeah. so the mother is the best friend of the baby yeah. uh, of the child the parents actually yeah, parents yeah, no. yeah sure uh parents are it's okay parents yeah. but m mother, mother is best mother okay. mo uh, sometimes girl uh, sometimes uh, girl children does not talk to these topics to the father oh yeah, yeah. That. so mother that. Mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, she can discuss this uh, these topics to the mother mm -hmm. very uh, safely yeah it's true i think that the young men are lucky out here because you just break your voice and then life continues so unfortunate anyway so coming back to this still um the young ladies, um, especially because now there's so much kind of a, a responsibility they have. Uh, menstruation, as you mentioned, and of course this is, a, this is actually um, a period also whereby you can conceive. Mm -hmm. A very important part, you can conceive actually. And also um, the quest to know more, sexuality and all these things. Now as patricians, are you also able to handle such situations? Because uh, we might be talking about um, neonates, the infants, the children. Now, adolescents, have you been maybe equipped with the knowledge on how to even talk to these people? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be very frank to these, uh, yeah. at these adolescent ch child. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we uh, does not educate the child about the sexual uh, diseases or sexualism mm -hmm. and the ch changes. He or she, when she interact with some other pupils or some social media, then there is some questions in the mind of yeah, these. Yeah. So it's better to communicate, to explain, to educate yeah. properly and yeah. thoroughly to these these uh, child adolescent children, That's true. so that they can uh, stress these things. Mm -hmm. the, uh, they can handle these things. Okay. Okay. Is there any possibility to be having complication from child, uh, maybe a child bearing, and of course, uh, birth complications to an adolescent, whereby it carries forward? Have you ever had such situations? Sometimes some uh, congenital heart disease which are not, not detected become problematic in adolescent, okay. right? If child is premature one in adolescent group, the economic status of the uh, this uh, person is generally low compared to normals, mm -hmm. like the mental status also is subnormal compared to the normal child. Mm -hmm. So certain things which are uh, more prevalent in newborns can hamper the development in adolescent and causes stress to them. Okay, okay. Is there any suggestion whereby we have to use um, hormonal boosters on these kids? If uh, the, development, uh, the development is inappropriate for okay. these children like delayed puberty or uh, delayed puberty, we have to use the hormone boosters to okay. increase the puberty, to accelerate the puberty. Okay, okay. Testosterone or something? That's testosterone? Yes. Okay. Now, um, if, even even in, in the matter of even adulthood, sometimes it doesn't fall under your place, but you see, still, um, it trickles down to even the adulthood side, whereby you are, your child care now defines how your well-being is. Sometimes, even um, in secondary school, high school, you find so many people in the sick bay. People are sick all the time, sick leave, and uh, it's something that it really kind of very rampant during this period. Do you think also this complication starts? from the, um, uh, the, the, the neonates just coming up to as you're growing also, do you think the complications now demystify themselves when actually come, come up? There may be one complication of anemia because some premature babies or some neonatal which have iron deficiency or some anemia in uh, childhood may develop anemia in adulthood also, like some congenital diseases okay. like sickle cell anemia, thalassemia. They develop anemia since birth or after six months of birth okay. so they continue still adult to if we does not go appropriate treatment for them mm -hmm. like some <coughs> stress in family also creates problems in adolescents yeah. yeah. if the mother and father are not living together if they have some stress they also causes stress to babies and uh, adolescent age groups sure sure now um look at uh prenatal and antenatal same thing as i said earlier do you think it's the foundation of a 
healthy delivery um, and of course uh, the, uh, the new nets the child and of course when you go all the way to adolescence now the prenatal and antenatal we might be avoiding this aspect of course you mentioned the aspect of also uh, taking um, uh, some iron some tablets just to make sure the baby also develops because they need also these nutrients you think now this is the start as much as you're talking about yeah, yeah this is the start we yeah. start from antenatal mm -hmm. periods also mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just supplement so good mother should be good children okay. in the adulthood mm -hmm. uh, in the childhood so if mother is healthy since birth it he, she can deliver a healthy baby yeah so it starts from antenatal period even from the birth of the baby okay okay Interesting. if if mm -hmm. antenatal period is uh, good she has appropriate nutrition mm -hmm. she can deliver a good baby okay healthy baby mm -hmm. and this in later life, mm -hmm. became a healthy ad okay. uh, adolescent and healthy mother also. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, um, we we not not, not everyone is blessed. That maybe can just give birth, and of course, sometimes you have issues in marriages where maybe someone can't be a child or a man's problem or a woman's problem. But looking at the UVI on all the processes actually being done all over the world, um, do you think also from these processes we might be having complications whereby now this wasn't actually um, uh, gotten in the normal procedure? This kid was actually uh, maybe found uh, in a different scientific procedure. Do you think such kids also have problems during the uh, pediatric uh, period? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, these kids also have uh, problems in pediatric age group. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe what kind of problems do they have? Uh, like se emotional stress. Uh, okay. Emotional okay. stress okay. is more okay. than these two. Because now, um, look at this situation, Doc. Because um, my mother, I haven't seen, okay, I, I've never seen my dad actually. My mother just cared, but of course went to um, a sperm donor. It happened, and th that's it. Um, I, the, the societal audacity to come up with such moves. Do you think it's being encouraged these days? Or maybe some people prefer to be alone. Uh, what's your opinion on this? Uh, maybe if, if, if some want uh, to be, uh, remain alone, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, child needs care of both uh, mother yeah, and father, father. Yeah, equally. Yeah, sure. uh, equally. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some social burden of these children on society also. Sometimes yeah. uh, the unplanned deliveries happen. Okay. And it causes social burden. Okay. All right. Doc, thank you very much for coming thank to the studio. We've learned so much about the whole situation. And uh, I must say that, indeed, uh, there's so much happening. And demystifying these acts of, for example, breastfeeding, that's a very crucial part because as far as even Kenyan mothers should accept it. Because now, we lack nutrients, the milk is the same. The milk is the same. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Thank you so much, Doc. Thank you. All right. We're taking so, a uh, short break. When you come back now, we'll be talking about the banking security. Bona and Tumbi will be in the studio and we'll be talking us more about this because as a man from an ancient credit, he'll be telling us about even insured money because when your money is stolen in a bank, it's not all gone. It's actually insured. We'll be coming to you after a short break.